Now we're going to look at using a graph in order to answer some questions. We have a drawing of a graph here where we have time along the horizontal axis given in seconds and we have height along the vertical axis given in meters. This graph is showing the height in meters of an eagle in terms of its time in seconds in flight. So we can see that we have a portion of the graph which starts off going pretty much horizontal and then we have it dropping and then we see it disappearing here, or at least it's along the x-axis, and then it picks back up. Let's see some questions in relation to this. Again, the graph is showing the height in meters of an eagle in terms of its time in seconds in flight. First, is the eagle's height a function of time? Let's use the graph to explain why or why not. Well, we can refer to the vertical line test. We can see that if we would draw any vertical line, it would hit the graph in at most one point. For that reason, we can decide that the answer to this question is yes, as it passes the vertical line test. Second, we want to find f of 15. We want to describe what this means in practical terms. When we look at our graph, we notice that we're going to move 15 units over on the horizontal axis, and that would give us the point which is right here on the x-axis. That point would have coordinates. 15 comma 0. Now that's telling us that the time would be 15 seconds and the height would be 0 meters. And so f of 15 is going to equal the value 0 and that means in practical terms that 15 seconds into this particular flight the eagle is actually going to be sitting on the ground, that is at a height of 0. C. What is a reasonable estimate of the eagle's maximum height? Well, let's look back at our graph. The maximum height occurs either at the very beginning, we can see, or at the very end, we have exactly the same height. We can look along the vertical axis and note that it's pretty much directly between the 40 and the 50. So we're going to estimate that the eagle's height would be 45 at this point, and that looks like our maximum value. So a reasonable estimate would be 45, and remember this is in meters. And then finally, during which period of time was the eagle descending? We're going to notice that we have a section of the graph to start with which appears to be constant. That means at that height of 45. It's not until we get to this point right here that we notice that we start to have a decrease in the graph. Remember that we read a graph from left to right. So we've got a constant section, and then we've got this section where the graph is decreasing till about right here, at which point we have this little horizontal section, which is along the x-axis, and then we have the graph increasing. So let's determine that if we started at this point and we moved over to be right above, about right here, that in this region, as we move from 5 seconds to, and I'm going to approximate about 12 seconds, we have the eagle decreasing. So during what period of time? We'll say it looks like about 5 seconds to 12 seconds.